Hey everybody, it's Sprinkles! Last episode went on a little bit too long, so I split it up into two parts so there's no actual recorded intro. Enjoy! And we're pressing... So you turned on the radio? Right! I just want to hear someone's voice, you know? You don't know what it's like out there alone on Christmas Eve. Alone! I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Hold, it. Hold it! Do you by any chance remember the name of the program you were listening to? Yeah, he's gonna be like, irrelevant. This has nothing to do with the case, Your Honor. It's irrelevant. <laughs> Objection sustained. Substained. <laughs> Sustained. The witness was listening to the radio? That's all we need to know. Tell us, Mr. Butts, how loud your radio was set to that night. Max volume, man. Mm -hmm. Hold it! Hold it! Real booming loud. <laughs> yeah, you know. And you had headphones on. Yep. I wouldn't think you could hear anything going on outside at all. Hold it. Hold it! Can you prove that? No, no, of course you can't. No, I can't prove it. But I remember that moment real clear. I mean, while I was talking about it, it came back real clear to me, you know? <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> What did she say? Mr. Wright, please cease these pointless questions. No! What possible good could a radio DJ said do us? Indeed, Mr. Von Karma has a point. I'll allow the question only if you see some reason why we should care. Oh, do we care? You don't care, do you, Mr. Wright? Well, would it help us prove that he was able to hear the gunshot if he remembered the DJ? Maybe, if you feel like it could provide context. What could possibly or... go wrong? Do we care? I mean, it's up to you. We're not going to play the game for you. <laughs> Oh, I need help! I know, and she knows. But yeah, do you, you know? We should carry your honor. Of course we should. Why? Uh, well, how do you know if we don't ask? Hmm? Fine, very well. Mr. Butts, please testify to the court. What was the radio announcer saying when you heard the gunshot? Just when she said, hey, it's almost Christmas, I heard the gunshot. That's important! God bless America! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! That, wait! Wait, hold up, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. I. It's almost Christmas. You know what that means. <laughs> Do I show this to him now? Up to go you. for you it. Could... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> go says, for, go it. for it. Because, because Why should that... I introduce doubt into your heart? I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying go for it. That directly contradicts the evidence, correct? That is correct. I mean, this is, yeah, time stamped with 1215. Gunshot 1215, he says. Here comes. Larry! Are you absolutely sure what you're saying is correct? Huh? <laughs> What's with this face? You look scary, dude. Hey, if you're trying to scare me, you better know I don't scare that easy. Is something the matter, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, <laughs> did you hear what the witness just said? The DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas, when he heard the gunshot. Indeed, and... Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas! <laughs> <laughs>
Ta-da! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Almost Christmas means it wasn't, it wasn't Christmas! Christmas! Hey, my line, almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas! It's <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> Simply having wonderful Christmas time! Simply having wonderful Jeannie's birthday! Yeah. You realize what this means? Yeah, it wasn't Jeannie's birthday. <laughs> when he heard the gunshot, it was still Christmas Eve! That would seem to be the case, yes. But he should have heard that gunshot after midnight. This photograph is irrefutable proof of this fact. Let's see what the time was on the- oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's see what the time was on the photo- th on the photo taken when the gun triggered Miss Hart's camera. 12.25.015. 15 minutes after midnight on Christmas Day. This is a clear contradiction, Your Honor. Order? Order! What does this mean? The two prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, this witness says he heard a gunshot before midnight. Judge, the answer is simple. The current witness is plainly mistaken. Just look at him. Suspicious. Seems pretty sus. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm SS, man! Well, Mr. Wright, what do you think about Mr. Butts' claim he heard the gunshot before midnight? I think he's right. All right. Because say. he's probably because, wrong. Because what? Dean, I hush, mean, why would why would the game us do this if it was? No, 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 no. Stop casting doubt. <laughs> do we wait? Real quick, just to confirm. <laughs> do we know when? Dean, shut up. Um, do we know when? Um. Larry's thing exploded. I can't remember. No, we he don't. He says it was around 11. Yeah. But not 11.50. No, no, it was way before this. So, the blank gunshot wasn't the, the thing. The Or the blank, not the mm. blank gunshot, but the blank image was the first gunshot. It because that's seem... almost Christmas. It would seem that might Which be the case. Which means it wasn't Christmas. It's yeah. Christmas. Larry's not mistaken, Your Honor. Yeah, yeah. My my logic is flawless. <laughs> he heard that gunshot before midnight. Intriguing. I'm assuming you have evidence for this wild claim. Show me evidence there's a gunshot before midnight. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Phoenix, could you say it any other way? Any other phrase? Look at this be <laughs> This was taken by our witness yesterday, Miss Lotta Hart, with her automatic camera. The timestamp on the photo reads December 24th, 11.50 p.m. Oh. Hmm? But there's nothing on the lake in this picture. Your Honor. The real issue here is not why nothing is shown in this photograph. It is why this photograph exists at all. What do you mean? Your Honor, this photograph was taken by an automatic camera. That camera was set to go off in response to loud noises. Aha! Correct! There was a loud noise on the lake at 11.50 p.m. That is why this photograph was taken. In other words, when Larry heard that gunshot, it was most definitely still Christmas Eve. Indeed, it would seem that is the case. Then where does that leave us? Miss Hart testified that she heard the gunshots after midnight. Are you claiming she was mistaken? Not at all, Your Honor. It is a fact that the camera also triggered at 15 minutes after midnight. Your Honor. That night, there were two sets of gunshots with a 25-minute pause between them. Why 
drive with the speed. Don't be fooled, Judge. That camera was set to respond to loud noises. Yes. There is no proof that the loud noise at 11.50 was a gunshot. Why, the witness could have sneezed triggering the camera. <laughs> hey, my nose is clear that night, man. Clear! Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, there's no turning back now. Can you prove that the loud noise at 11.50 p.m. was indeed a gunshot? Please show the court evidence if you have any. A Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. She looking. The DL6 doesn't matter. The parrot doesn't matter. Metal detector doesn't matter. This doesn't matter because it's not proving that. Yeah, we already used it anyway. I've got it! The attorney's badge! There it Dang, is! You got it. <laughs> Because I don't care about the DL6 stuff right now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Fired three times. So, what exactly are you trying to prove right now? What did he ask you to prove? That it was a gunshot. Yes. But what did you say before that that is part of the reason that you're trying to prove it's a gunshot? Because it was a loud noise. Prior to the that, camera what picks was Phoenix's up loud big... Sort of, but what did Phoenix say? What was his big postulation that he made? Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. After that, more recent. <laughs> <laughs> that the camera takes photos of loud noises. Right, and... That what did we... it went off at 11.50. Yes, and then? There was a 25-minute break between. Right. So sets he's of gunshots. Saying, yes. And he said, so he said, Lotta Hart heard two gunshots fired at 12.15. Larry heard one gunshot fired so it's at 11.50. I think so. Okay. That's the only one that, like, makes sense, mm. so. Don't hmm me. This is my evidence. Mm. The murder weapon? Something about this pistol was bothering me, Your Honor. Both of the witnesses who testified yesterday heard two gunshots. However, the murder weapon was fired three times. Yes! When, then, was the last shot fired? Only now have I realized the truth. That third shot was the shot Larry heard just before midnight. Order, order! Hmm. That would make sense of the evidence we've seen so far. However, this leaves me wondering exactly what did happen on the, that night on the lake. Exactly. This is true, there were two sets of gunshots separated by 25 minutes. We literally already said that! Shut up, Karma! One at 11.50, another at 10.15 minutes after midnight. Why, I ask you? Why? Uh, oh, I'd better think of something quick. Uh, wait a second! Gunshots separated by 25 minutes? Ah! What, what's wrong, Nick? I have it! I have it! Huh? Remember the case with the Steel Samurai? Huh? Yeah. Of course I remember. The murderer in this case had the same idea as the murderer in that case. What do you mean? Maya! Yeah? If we don't figure this out now, we'll never overturn Edgeworth's guilty verdict. I've got a hunch, and I'm going to run with it. Right, I mean, is this safe? Safe? We've already gotten a guilty verdict. We have nothing to lose. Yeah, use your own words against you, Maya. <laughs> 
just watch and let me know if I say anything that sounds fishy, okay? Right, Nick. Your Honor. Y yes Mr. Wright? The testimony just now has cleared up this entire case. What do you mean, Mr. Wright? <laughs> so you finally realized the truth. There can be no other murderer here than Miles Edgeworth himself. Wrong! Wrong, Von Karma. <laughs> Omega wrong. Omega a wrong. Was <laughs> a man was shot that night, but it wasn't Edgeworth who did the shooting. Listen, rookie. Take a deep breath and consider the facts. At the time of the murder, one boat was on that lake. This was shown by the witness's photograph. The defendant, Edgeworth, and the victim, Robert Hammond, were on that boat. There was a gunshot fired on that boat, and Robert Hammond fell into the lake. The distance of the shooting was one meter. It couldn't have been suicide. We know. Well, the guilty party has to be the other man on that boat. I admit it is hard to imagine any other possibility. Yes. But this assumes that the victim was shot at 15 minutes past midnight. Sorry. Uh, what do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? We have timing, or we have photographic evidence of the time of the shooting. The timestamp on the photo says 015. But Larry heard a gunshot 25 minutes before that. Robert Hammond was killed then, 25 minutes before the shot on the lake. That's the only way that Edgeworth could be innocent. Mr. Wright. Are you quite mad? Explain who the two men on the boat are. Good luck. We know Edgeworth was on the boat. Yes. We do, that's true. We don't know for sure that Hammond was the other person shot on the boat. That's true. I mean, Wright is claiming that Hammond was murdered before this. So Edgeworth and the murderer would have had to be the ones on the boat. Go for it. Or was it? Sheen, stop casting doubt. She has enough doubt. <laughs> Of course, it was Edgeworth and the murderer! After the murderer killed Robert Hammond at 11.50, he assumed the guise of Mr. Hammond and met Edgeworth. What? Are you serious? Yes, Edgeworth won't tell us why he went to the lake that night. However, I have a hunch. That night, Robert Hammond called Edgeworth to the lake. Now, Edgeworth didn't know Robert Hammond's face that well. That's why he didn't suspect anything when the murderer took Robert Hammond's place. Uh, I'm not sure what to make of all this. Ludicrous! Mr. Wright, tell us the name of the murderer, then. The murderer's name? Right, it's... <laughs> We don't know. Right? I mean, go for it! <laughs> I mean, do you know? No, we don't, right? We have zero we evidence. Know. Then we don't know, yeah. If I know, no, I don't know. <laughs> Who's this guy? Edgeworth's, Edgeworth's dad? Father. That's right. <laughs> No, it's all good. It's been a while. <laughs> I 
hate her face. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think Lotta did it, and definitely Edgeworth is not the murderer. Alright. Well, the name Miles Edgeworth is a name, right? yes. I mean, that's not the murderer's name, though, unless you want to say that it was Edgeworth. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I don't know the murderer's name. You don't know? Bah! Again, you waste my time. Yeah. And? I don't know, because he never told us. The murderer is the caretaker of the boat shop, that old man. <gasps> hmm. At 11.50, he was the one who killed Robert Hammond. Oh, the caretaker of the boat shop. What? Where did he do this? There weren't any boats on the lake then. Why would he have to go all the way out on the lake just to shoot someone? May I suggest that the real scene of this crime was not on a boat? What? Well, then where did the murder take place? Show the judge where the murder really took place. At the dock, right? All right, go for it. <laughs> we can't get penalized here, right? Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I think you can, but I mean, you just have to guess. There's not really. We're just <laughs> guessing, right? Yeah. Do. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. Here, of course, the boat shop where he lives. That was the only. That thing way, that he sense. could meet with the victim without anyone seeing. Do you have proof that the boat shop was the scene of the crime? Recall Larry's testimony, if you will. That night, he was out on the lake in a boat, searching for something. He finds it and returns the boat. Then, just as he's starting to head for home, he hears a gunshot. He heard a gunshot, your- He heard a gunshot, your honor, even though he was wearing headphones at the time. In other words, the gunshot was very, very close by. And where would that be if he had just returned a boat? The boat shop. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what happened that night on Gord Lake? Please tell the quote from the beginning. Yes, your honor. Nick, are you sure about this? Um, not really. But I think if I start at the very beginning, and I take it slow, I might just be able to figure this out. That night. Do we want to stop here? Yep. Okay. You'll just have to find out exactly what happened on the next episode. <laughs> You'll just have to find out on the next episode, like Jeannie just said. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we'll we will see you, see you then as we uncover the mystery. The, <laughs> the mystery of the mystery. Almost the Christmas. Mystery. The mystery of Almost Christmas. The, the episode almost is over. Bye-bye.